Yes, welcome back to another gin review from Middle Tennessee. From Middle Tennessee, let's get that right. Middle. Not the east, not the west, but the middle. Alright, well, Ange and I are here, and tonight we're listening to a little bit of, uh, you know, work, smooth jazz, piano jazz. Jazz, gotta love it. And we're gonna open ourselves up a bottle here of Fisher's. Fisher's London Dry Gin from the England English coast. Look how beautiful that bottle is. So the deal with this gin, and I've done some extensive research here, is they are they pride themselves on how they put the sea botanicals and made it like if you're at the sea. And, and almost to how uh, Grey Whale did couple weeks back, I'm finding similar things here. Um, they use uh, botanicals that are from the sea. Uh, there's they use sea fennel, rock samsire. It's an edible plant, as some of us know. Uh, and they also use this crazy name here. Wait, I got it. What is it? Love this. Whale meum. Okay, Miam, uh, Spignell, Spignell, if you guys are from England or UK or whatever, Spignell, you probably understand what that means. Uh, well, it's a botanical, highly aromatic, uh, it's a perennial plant, and common names in the UK are bald money, Spignell, also Spignell, or Spignell, and me. delicious, right? It is a plant of grassland, often on limestone, in mountain districts off Western Europe and Central Europe. Its range extending as far south as Sierra Nevada, Spain. All right, well, anyway, those two botanicals are added to this gorgeous bottle here. Again, beautiful. Love that knitting. And then they use some standard contemporary uh, botanicals. Uh, which I'm so glad they did because it wouldn't be the same if they didn't. But juniper, of course, gotta have juniper for gin, right? We all know this now. Coriander seed, orris root, orange peel, lemon peel, cardamom pod. Ooh, I like that. And caraway seed, fennel seed, and angelica. I mean, there's a lot of botanicals in this. Um, we're at 44 percent, and it's produced and bottled in the UK, so that doesn't really give us. Well, a little bit more I got here. It's a coastal spirit with a wild heart, originally made at uh, Adam Southwold Distillery. The creative minds behind this seaside tipple, tipple, have crammed their bottles with beach-plucked English seaside botanicals like Spignol and Rock Sapphire, indulging their drink with a strong sense of the salty sea air. All right, now I gotta open this up. I mean, come on, salty sea air. If that's what it is, man, at long last I have found my perfect gin. The only problem is they still can't make the thing come off at it. It's a little bit easier, you know what I mean? This is a bastard! A bastard! I really don't understand why they have to make it like it. Well, maybe because it shouldn't get into the hands of children. I mean, Joe, there is that. Alright, well, I'm not seeing a cork there. First time in a while. So, hello, liquor store cat. You know, this bottle was not on the cheaper side either. It was on the higher side of uh, 40s, the high 40s. smell the beach. <laughs> There's like a briny, salty essence, aroma with the juniper, the citrus. Man, is that beautiful. 
goes itself. Let's hope it goes down as smooth. Whoa. <laughs> That's some hell of a spignal in there. Oh my god. Okay. Juniper is on the forefront. It's a, it's a mouth. It's a burn of the, the the tip of your lip before it even hits. It's a burn. It's a nice burn. It it, it, it it just builds and it's building and it's traveling. Very nice, slow, warm. Definitely the sea, man. I have visions right. I can see seagulls right now. This is very cool stuff. I mean, really cool, man. I mean, I 100% agree with what I just was reading about, and the, the providence they put into this, the, the website alone, you should see, crazy, so much stuff they got going on, but, yeah, I get it. Can you turn it on? I forgot my glass here. So, let's see if we can do this without having to stand up. Oh, yeah, how sweet it is. Goblet of life, goblet of gin. Okay. First, we're gonna separate the old icicle here. It's about a half a bottle. No purified, delicious, suckling, clean ice. That could just be a little bit too much ice. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna have to figure this out. I'm gonna have to stand up now. So, pardon me. Well, when the big ice situation happens, the big cup has to come out. Right, well, let's see. Hey, look at that. It's a big ice to a little ice, yeah. Alright, so, in goes the beautiful, salty, seaworthy botanicals, and a really nice spirit. Tonight, I'm, it's unfortunate, but I'm out of fever tree. So, my next best tonic is actually this Schweppes 1783. The quinine, but it's just a bite on it. I love it. It's pricey, but if you can find it, that's the other thing too. You can't really find it. It's UK stuff. They want to keep it all to them, which I understand. I mean, you know, it's, it's theirs. Zester, Zester. Put a little, little lime, the lime guy in there. We're gonna shake her, shake her, shake her, rake her. And then I have a nice piece of lemon here since, you know, there was lemon in those botanicals that we read off before. Oh yeah. And I gotta just do it because I love it. It loves me. Grapefruit. And I forgot my stir. Big whoop, right? The knife does the same thing. Alright, well, let's uh, salute and cheers, and hopefully this is as good as I think it's going to be. Damn, is this good. It's like um, in uh, Long Beach Island, New Jersey, as a kid. And, uh, let's not say kid, because it's gin, but, you know, I remember when people were drinking around me back then in the 80s, it was fine and dandy and everything, as long as the little ones didn't get at it, but that smell of the juniper, and we would go in this, um, I can't remember the name of it, but it was in the Bayside, uh, um, and it was a boat. 
and, and you would go on the boat, you know, and it was like a dinner thing, and you'd have lobster, and all the adults would have lobster, and smash those tails and claws, and they take you up into the, so where the captain was, and the captain let you, you know, steer the big old, the big old uh, steering wheel there that was the fake one, you know, wasn't really doing anything, because the real guy was like right above you, but you didn't realize that because you were like knee high, short high, up to this cup right there, till later, and then you realize what was going on, that's what all is going on in this cup here, so I hope uh, you can find yourself a bottle of this. If you love the sea and miss it as much as uh, I do right now, being here in the middle of Tennessee, this is actually a really nice little escape here. Mm. It's all balanced, beautiful. Great job. Great job, fishers, man. I mean, the only thing I gotta say, you know, I'm gonna say, right? Where's the cork, fishers? I mean, I'm spending some good money here on your gin. Why the fuck is there no cork in there? Distilled in small batches using rare and old English botanicals. Well, it's been another wonderful uh, evening here talking to myself and hopefully people that are watching this. So from me to you to you to me and everyone else out here in the land of Middle Tennessee, I hope you enjoy a gin or two or three. And uh, have yourselves a good evening. Salute. Eh?